What's up guys? In this video, I'm covering some tools, tips, and tricks that have helped me when working on my FPV drones. The best part of this video is some of these tools you probably already have laying around the house. I'm going to start with one of my all time favorites and it's something that you probably already hopefully have dental floss. Dental floss makes putting in rubber grommets a hundred times easier. This is something that I did in my budget build video and I got a lot of comments on it. So basically how this helps is when you're putting in these grommets, these grommets go into these holes. And as you can see, the grommet itself is actually bigger than the hole. So getting it through that hole is pretty difficult. But when you have dental floss, you can actually pinch it like that and then I just make a little point put it through the hole and now just kind of hold it in place with your thumb make this wider so that you can fit the grommet around the dental floss like that and then pull the dental floss towards the hole so now the dental floss is holding the grommet in place so when you pull this and pinch the grommet a little bit just to get it started it just pulls the grommet right through like that if you don't use dental floss, these can take a very, very long time. Next up is another thing that you might already have laying around, blue tack. This is pretty much used to hold uh, papers and posters on the wall, but I use it quite a bit to hold wires and tiny components when I'm soldering. So when you get one of these, I think this was $6, you get quite a bit, you get four of these, and this you can obviously rip in half and you have two of them. And now you can push this on your table and whatever you put on this isn't going to move around. So if you're working on a receiver like this or something tiny, just take the receiver, push it on there. And now you can take your wires and you can push it on the other one. And now you can pre-tin your wires, solder it to the board and you can have tweezers in one hand and have the soldering iron in the other and you don't have to worry about stuff moving around. This is very useful, especially if you don't have a pair of these helping hands. I'll leave a link to these in the description as well. These are helpful to have, but this is a much cheaper option and you get quite a bit in this package. Next is an electric screwdriver kit. This is a tool that I wish I had sooner. This electric screwdriver saves a lot of time and the container that it comes in is very clean and holds everything that you need. It has a magnetic tip that holds the screw bit in place. And just by clicking a button, you can screw bolts on and off. And you have two different power modes here. This is something that I wish that I had sooner. And guess what? First giveaway on the channel is gonna be one of these electric screwdriver kits. So this is one that I purchased using my affiliate points. My affiliate points I got because you guys are buying stuff using my affiliate links. So I figured I'd take those points, recycle it back into the YouTube community and give back to you guys. So someone can win this electric screwdriver kit. Details on how to enter to win it are down in the description. This next one is honestly one of my favorites that I got like three weeks ago that I don't know how I didn't have one any sooner. If you have a drone like this where the USB port is difficult to access, as you can see the USB port is like down in here and with the ducts on you can't really get to it easily, this next tool should definitely be on your list. This is a magnetic USB cable. It comes with five USB-C tips, five micro USB tips, and one lightning tip. And this is what the tips look like. They're magnetic and they basically just attach right to this end. This can be used as a charging cable and a data cable. So I actually have my lightning uh, tip plugged into my keyboard and I keep this plugged into the back of my computer. So whenever I have to charge my keyboard, I just keep that right there and then plug it in and it's charging. I also keep some tips on the bottom of my headphones. I forget to charge these a lot. So when I need to charge them, I just take this and plug it in. 
obviously the main reason I got it was for this drone and just to make it easier to connect to my drones and a little bit faster. And it has definitely helped with that. So you can take the micro USB-C tip like that. Now you can just use the magnetic tip, go in there and you're attached. Right like that, nice and easy. And then when you're done, you just pull it off. The best part is really just that I can keep this plugged into the back of my computer at all times. And whenever I need to either connect a drone, charge my keyboard, charge my headphones, connect to whatever I have to connect to, I can just grab this cable and use a magnetic tip and it's done. These next two tools are kind of hand in hand. They're useful for removing props. An eight millimeter ratchet wrench is great for quickly removing prop nuts. A regular wrench like this side works well too, but a ratcheting one is even quicker. And with this tool to hold the motor, motor grip pliers. Motor grip pliers do exactly as the name says. They grip the motor so that you can remove the nut on top. There are little rubber grommets on the inside of the pliers that hold the motor bell so that the prop nuts are easier to take off. So this grips the motor bell like that. Just get a good grip on it. And then with your ratcheting wrench, just put it on the top nut. You have the nut off and you can swap the prop. Next up is a transmitter glove. This is awesome if you live in cold climates like I do. I've been using this tons since here in New England. It's been 20 degrees lately. It basically just holds the controller. It has a little cutout out here for your antenna and you can put your hands in through this part down here and then your controller in through the back up here and it just keeps everything nice and warm while you're flying. If I'm flying outside for a long time and it's cold, I'll also pack a couple of hand warmers and then I just throw one in here underneath the controller and it just kind of keeps everything nice and warm. This is awesome to have if you fly in the cold a lot and it's only like $15. This last one is one that I use occasionally and I figured I'd put in this video. A portable soldering iron is awesome to have if you have the space. There have been a couple times when I'm out flying and then this soldering iron has come in handy. Normally, I power it off of a 3S XT60 battery, but it can also be powered off of a 4S battery if you're doing a quick repair. Thankfully, I've never had to use this on a professional shoot, but it's good to know that I have this in my backpack just in case something goes wrong. All right, this one I almost didn't put in the video, but I figure it's worth mentioning real quick, a smoke stopper. You can get these for about $5 and you can even make them on your own actually with an old automotive light bulb. These can save your equipment and prevent shorts. You plug your battery into this side and then this other end into the quad. And if there's a bridge connection on your flight controller, this will stop power going to the board and will save your equipment from going up in smoke. If the light stays green, everything should power on as normal. So if I just got done building this quad, I take my smoke stopper, plug it into the battery, and you see the green light. When I plug this in here, if that light turns off, that's telling me that there's a short somewhere in here and I need to find it. If the light stays green, this should power on as normal. So that tells me that there's no shorts on my flight controller and everything's good to go. Like I said, if the light turns off, there's a short, you gotta find it. Six bucks. If you build your own quads, get one of these. So that's gonna do it for this one. If you enjoyed the video, please subscribe to the channel and leave a like. If there's any tools or tips that I didn't cover in this that have helped you with FPV, please leave it down in the comments section. And again, all of these tools are gonna to be linked down in the description.